Okay, I want to look at a couple of maps here, get some interesting information out of them. These are elder maps, and this is a map right here from Ptolemy's time in Egypt. And it shows some interesting things here. It uh, doesn't have things quite correct. If you'll look at it here, there's uh, Italy's little boot. And, of course, it doesn't even look quite like a boot. Crete and the Minoan area is, of course, a little too big, probably, than it should be. Iberian Peninsula is pushed way down instead of up. Black Sea seems to be a little off. And the run right through here, which is uh, Phoenicia and stuff, is listed as Syria. Right? And then they put something down here that's unlegible. And it leads off into the Nile area. The interesting thing I want to show you here is that they're showing you a giant river that runs right through the Sahara. You know, the Sahara starts right here. And it's not far off this at all. The green area is way up here close to this, if you've ever looked at it. So, now they're showing these little circles here. And these little bluish circles here. And I don't know if this is like oasises and connections to oasises or what this is supposed to be indicating, but it looks just like rivers right over here. It looks like he's defined it like a river. And so it's rivers connecting to an oasis and it's down here in deep in Libya and stuff. And indeed this area right here is where they have found the, uh, the skeletons that I've shown you before with the, uh, Tenarian people and, uh, stuff. So, it dates to 10,000 years ago or 8,000 BC in this area whenever it used to flood over and quite often was a, a, a swamp area and things like that back in that time. But it is believed that it had dried up, you know, 6,000, 5,000 BC and started to really dwindle from there. But these oases just probably kept it going and there were somewhat rivers between there. And there's no telling people what's actually up under all these dunes now that are all here and what could be there because I tell you something odd here. I'm going to think I found Atlantis again. Uh, don't click off of it yet. Give me a minute here to show this to you because th this is one of the old maps that they have here, right? And they're showing you how it, it's just squared off. They don't really show it, but this is the one I want to show you right here. This is how they believed it was in Herodotus' time. So now we're back in 450 BC. And some things to point out is it seems like the area through here is more drawn correctly. That all of this is drawn much more correctly. Yet the boot and things and the way that this hole leads out here in Iberia is incorrect, right? And then you look up here and there is not even any UK, Britain, Denmark or anything. And they think there's water on top of it that where they live here, the Greeks, they know about the rivers that run up here in the ancient river Istar, right, that runs through and then splits to all of these, and the Scythian lands, right? But above that is really just water. And they don't draw Arabia squared off to the way it should be, out to here and then down with another cut in, India doesn't even have its point on it. It doesn't have Sri Lanka in any way. They call that per Persis. So that's Persia. That's for whenever Perses had gone down to there. So it's Perseus, but Perses had gone down there. They refer to this whole land in here as Medes. And that's where the, the media had come and gotten them. So here's media all the way through and into Arabia here. A little incorrectly colored in the blotches but i'm not going to get <laughs> finicky about it here's the tigris and euphrates and it shows two other rivers running through and where susa actually is it does show the, the indus valley but it's way over here and again there's nothing there there's no it just rounds off it almost looks like a skull here in a shape can you see that and they don't have the bottom of africa here nowhere listed nowhere at all down here at the bottom it says mare australis so this is the sea of stars, the southern hemisphere stars that they run everything off of, right? And they tell you this is the Ethiopticus uh, Ocean right here too. And then they say Atlantic Ocean here, right? Well, let's go back just a second. I don't know if you've seen it yet on this map, but I'm just going to go back a second here. And go to the other map. And I want to show you where they call this ocean here that's out here. Occidentalis Ocean. 
I don't know if you can read that upside down, but Occidentalis Ocean. Okay? That's what they're calling that. And that runs all the way down this seaboard, everything through here. So now let's look at it again. And so now we're looking at this, and they do call it the Atlanticus Ocean here now all of a sudden, right? But look what is actually listed here on this. Atlantis. Right here. Now the Atlas Mountains, and that's where he supposedly held up the world at. And why would they give so much credence to the area that was back here? And why would somebody from up here named Africanus come down and name this the homeland if they didn't have some idea that this is where they had all come from? All here across northern Africa where they used to live and apparently used to go a lot deeper. Where that place is that we were looking at with the... Uh, uh, skulls of the Tenerian people, Tenerian people, is really about right in here. Okay? Now, here's the kicker on top of all of that with Atlantis being here. You see the Nile, and they used to believe that the Nile didn't come up. They didn't know about Lake Victoria. They didn't know about uh, Lake Malawi and Lake Tanganyika and running all the way through. This is only half of Africa, and it doesn't go down to the point. Right here, they tell you this is the, the voyage of Necho in 600 B.C. So in 600 B.C., he had told the Phoenicians that he wanted them to go all the way around, that they had thought that it's just like this, where this water was eventually connected to this water, which was connected to this water. So they asked the Phoenicians to go all the way around. And you can see this little line here that goes all the way around the coastline. And apparently this is how they drew it out. I don't know how good a map makers the, those Phoenicians were or how the cart cartography became this look here. But uh, there's really no west coast cut in at all. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't fall down. And it doesn't have southern Africa here at all off of it. But also the Nile runs here and curves off. And where does it run to? It runs right here, and they say, well, the source of the Nile came off the Atlas Mountains and the snowfall that came from there. You can look up some of these ancient stories they tell you, but then this area of land here is called Atlantis. Now, when he talks about how 8,000 years before it had been taken away, there is signs that there was a giant flood in this area. There's even whales that are way out in here. And they say, well, there used to be a primordial sea, but also somewhere around 10,500 B.C. to 9,200 B.C., there was a great catastrophe that happened all through here. And I think we all remember it as the, as the flood itself, the original deluge. After that, there were more. And there was a localized one that happened through here that ran everybody out into this area. And that's the one we kind of relay off of the Bible. But there's two of them. There's a giant one that pretty much affected everybody, raised the sea level 450 foot, inundated through the Black Sea, and also inundated all of this. All of this. Now he said that this place used to be out here by the Straits of Gibraltar. And it says out beyond the Straits of Gibraltar. But I don't know, are you out here looking beyond or are you out here looking beyond? Because this says Atlantis right here. And it's the source of the Nile. So you can see that in their, in their idea, the Nilus River, it's the source of the Nile. And of course, the Nile used to be called Happy, right? Happy. And indeed, in the Bible, it says, uh, Eir, Asha, Eir. And one interpretation of that is, which is, I am what I am, but it also says, I am happy. Asher means happy. So... This is an oddity, and I just wanted to point it out to you here that, uh, you know, this is probably a better map and a better boot and things like that in many, many ways, but yet it leaves out the circumference area. They don't have it understood quite correctly. There's no Africa. They talk about Ethiopes, and they're all just run out over here, and they say the Nile runs around and cuts up through there when we know it runs way down here for another 1,600 miles. Well, it goes to a couple of rivers in doing so, or lakes when I mean, it does it, but it keeps going. So 
<clears throat> your source idea and everything. Where does that come from? Again, Iberia is not made quite correctly here. They don't have, you know, here's Kronos is C, right? Kronos is C. Now, Kronos is Saturn, right? And Saturn's name here in the Levant area was L. And that's where you get a Temp L and a Bible, Angel, Ariel, Michael. You get prophets like Ezekiel. So L is that God here. It's the Canaanites God that got taken over. But there is Kronos' C, which that might give some indication as to where Kronos had come from. And Kronos was the Phoenician. You look it up, it's Kronos the Phoenician. Well, Phoenicians had ports here, ports in here a few places. They had Cyrene, they had Carthage, right? I think it's just strange that people never point out that that says Atlantis right there. And that that could have flooded, and that could have been where everybody was. And right now, that's up under desert. Under a large amount of dunes. And I don't know if we'll ever see that. If it would ever uncover due to some another catastrophe or something. But the idea that's relayed here, whenever this all busted through and flooded out, and everybody was living on the coastlines, it took out most everybody. And then also we have over here where it would have flooded and put tidal waves over the land and it could have flooded out this whole area and caused a lot of problems. And then of course afterwards it could have caused a, a large problem. And this river that you're seeing run here could have been off of like the other maps idea on where the water would have run, right? And where it could release that. But maybe there was so much rainfall and things after this great catastrophe that it did flood all through here and flooded out this great place that they used to have that we may never see again up under the desert, but there's Atlantis right there. That's the Atlanticus Ocean. This is Atlantis right here. It says it, Atlantis, right? And it's right near the Atlas Mountains, Atlantis. It's just, that's it, right? There's Atarantes. This is the star. This is it. Garamantes. This is where the warriors that chase the vile Negroid Trabagolite and chase them down on uh, four horse chariots it says Herodotus has this noted in his thing so the Garamantes here are trying to chase them off of somewhere off in Central Africa apparently anyhow I think this was just extremely interesting to find this map that shows you that and it's right there and here's Tartarus you know the bad place of hell Tartarus Probably because of what might have happened to you when you went there back in the old days, if you were not from there. And then that leads to stories, just like when they found good fishing grounds. Generally in those old maps, whenever they have a, a dragon there and it says there be dragons here, that's generally a good fishing ground. People figured that out a long time ago. When they knew about Iceland and they were getting the narwhal horns and selling them off as unicorns and things, they didn't mention that at all. They also switched the name of Iceland and Greenland, making people think that the other one would probably be the one that was more Greenland than the Iceland, so you don't get there, and all these things that happened. But anyhow, people, there's Atlantis right there. And uh, that ancient riverbed, let's look at this one more time, that ancient riverbed that was here um, that runs through. Now, this place called Atlantis on his map here would probably be right in here somewhere. That settlement I'm talking about is right in here somewhere. It's only 100 miles, 200 miles off, and the way they wrote the long name across there, no telling where that actually comes off at. But this looks kind of like that river that ran through there, with maybe a different outport, but it also doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go anywhere here, it doesn't go anywhere here, it doesn't go anywhere here. All these rivers spill into oceans. All these spill into seas. They all go somewhere. They start from here and go down there. This starts from where? This goes where? Right. Of course, old maps, people, things like that. But this just stands out like a sore thumb. And then there's the name right there. And at this time here, they don't even call it that. They call it the Occidentalist Sea, right? So, I think Atlantis is right in here someplace, deep up under the sand, 
wonder if we could try to figure that one out. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. More stuff coming all the time. Hope you've been enjoying the last ones that have been coming out. More like them to continue. Have a great day. Peace.